And I would like to thank my first mate supporters, Andre Cruz. As a member of Diecast International Builders, I approve this video. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. Oh wait, wrong channel. This is Down the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you a box from my good buddy Jay at Jay's Diecast Creations. <laughs> and I know one thing that's in this box, but I don't know exactly what he did with it. And he said he sent me some other things. And then there's something in there for me to take some parts off of and send back to him. So... Let's get this open up and take a look. So, Jay mentioned this on his channel that he was going to build me a car. And he asked me what style I said surprised me. Okay. There's a letter in here. Let me read it off camera first. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Hey, Don. First off, thanks again for being so generous and sending me those red lines. I'm still working on restoring the Neat Streeter for National Red Line Day. Enclosed is the Diora for you to steal the wheels and suspension off of as well as the chip boost truck. I customized your favorite car, the 69 Charger. I only had the 500 casting. Having limited selection of rear riders, they are not perfect, but better than what came on it. I do suggest spreading the wheels out before displaying. I didn't want to cut the axles, as I like the wide stands, but they do have a little slop. The car does still roll. I attempted to create a clean custom spring outside with pollen, Spraying outside with pollen in the air is a bit tough, so it is not perfect, but I did my best to make up for it with the details. The drive shaft sits just a tad bit low, but it was after I glued it, it that I realized. Also, feel free to tap and screw it if you like, as all I have is Gorilla Glue. The interior has a white finish and small details. I hope you enjoyed the new ride, Brother J. P.S. I threw a few in a few extra castings. Nothing special, but maybe something for a rainy day. Um first off Jay without even looking at it thank you brother sorry what you do is what you do brother and whether it's Whether it's perfect or not, it's what you do and at the stage you're in. And you can't take that moment away. That moment is always here. It's always right now, wherever you're at in life. So, he, <laughs> easy, she's fast. <laughs> So let's see a couple of things in there. There's a bag with some stuff in it. Um, just untying the knot here. Some wrapped up in paper, there's others that are 
dirty and all right. So we have a matchbox boom fire truck right there and uh, it says Tonka and it's a Jeep but the base is Ford GP and then we have a matchbox utility truck it looks like a maintenance truck for Jurassic Park it has a dinosaur symbol on there hmm so this is, <laughs> this is a uh, GMC Teradyne and uh, it's got somebody wrote a magic marker on it, but uh, I may do something with that sometime. I don't know um, what else we have in here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> oh wow, this is cool. It's a custom Volkswagen Squareback, 69 Squareback. Might do something with that. Then we have a Matchbox Time a Taxi. Huh. What? Time a Taxi. Now, why is this door gray? It opens. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not a fan of bit different wheels on the front and back. They are for sure. Here we go. This is MC Toy. Looks like a knockoff matchbox. There's a bug. Okay, so here's here's that Diora. Um and this, this is the one that uh, was given to him by st Stupid Cold Diecast. And he asked to gas lands it. And I said, well, because he's always asking me, what, is there anything you need? Is there anything you need? To use? Because of what I sent him, he, he wants to pay me back. And that's why he made this car for me that we're going to see at the end. And, you know, when I... I have so much and there's like there's not anything I really want um, but I have old red lines and the axles and I was like if you're gonna gas lens that and not use those axles send them to me and he said well I'll send you the car and let you remove them and send the car back so that's what I'm gonna do with this so thank you Jay for that I really really appreciate that um, those are those are going to come in handy for red line restorations and here's this M2 chip foos truck and so the story behind this truck is it belonged to Chip's dad and you know chip does overhauling and he designs all those cars for different people and everything and they took this truck behind his back and built it for him by his designs and jay bought this truck for the wheels now 
there's not, and I told him, I, I was talking about what it is, and he's like, oh, I'll send it to you. I was like, all right, well, there's not really anything that I can do to take a chip foose design and make it better. What I might do with this is just take some wheels and put on the truck and display it the way it is. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so he sent me a matchbox models of yesteryear 1907 Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. And what's funny about it is I just got three boxes in the mail today. I've never seen one of these before in my life, but in a future video or two, you're going to see a couple models of yesteryear. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, and it looks like it has seats that are missing. Um, and, I, and the window frame is broken off. And I don't know if it had... It doesn't look like it had a roof. But the window frame is broken off. The seats are gone. Could probably build seats out of styrene. But they wouldn't be perfect. And maybe make a window frame. At least the lights are still there. Looks like there was something that was attached to the frame on each side that's broken off. I don't know anything about these, honestly. I, I don't know anything about those things at all. Now, so, he sent me a 57 Chevy Hot Wheels on the card, Rod Squad. Um, and I'm not one to keep things in the package uh, and I do have more 57 Chevys and he sent me a Honda Civic Si uh, factory fresh car I might set that aside and use it for a future build now what this is all about this box like I can't explain I was just watching that video where he was talking about how when he first started this um, and he built that car for diecast chasers and how when he first started this he wasn't going to give away any of his builds because you know and I was kind of the same way but I also realized that as I was getting things started making videos and things on the channel that I needed to do something once I realized what the community is um, that I needed to, to do something to show you guys my appreciation and that's why I'm doing I don't do this, the prize drawings every hundred but I did one at 100 and one at 300 and we're going to have one at 500 and 750 and 1000. Um, after that, I don't know. It probably won't be that often. Um, but that's why I'm doing the subscriber's choice. And this coming year, it'll be nine cars that I'm giving away. And every year after that, it'll be a dozen cars every year. 
and there's, I mean, let me put it this way. It's like, it's like Jay said, he can't make a car for everybody. There's just, there's so many people, so many wonderful, deserving people, and there's no way to build a car for everyone, right? Like, right now I'm over 300 subscribers. He's over 700. And it'd be easy to build, to just build cars for other people and never work on the collection. Right? And, you know, I do have to build cars for myself for my collection because that's why I started this, is to buy cars that I can't afford that are beat up and broke down and make them better so I have to think about that but I wish I could build a car for everybody I, just, I, I can't do it and that's also why when I do prize drawings I'm, I'm, I'm building a car to give away I don't know what to expect. Oh. You glued it together, Jay. I'm not taking it apart. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't worry about the axles. Definitely surprised me. <laughs> if I would have thought anything, I, I, I would have thought he would have went a different direction with it, Jay. But, dude, brother, I, would, I, I, I wouldn't change a thing about it because the way it sits is the way it came from your hands. Right? So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've more than made up for everything that I've done for you. But there's more coming your way. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. Click that like button and ring the bell for notifications. Don't forget to read the description and check the date for you know, the next... Uh, Actually, the Diecast International Builders on the 15th of next month, we're doing the Surf Wagons. And on the 15th of the month after that, we're doing the VW Clown Cars. VW Bug, if you got one. If you don't, any VW. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I will see you next time. <laughs>